Once upon a time there was a mother pig and her three piglets. Three brothers are the same height. Round, pink, with the same funny tails. All summer the pigs played in the green grass, basked in the sun, basked in the puddles. But then autumn came. One day my mother said that it was time for them to think about winter. She asked them to build a big house. The younger brother said that winter is still far away. The middle brother said that he would build his own house when needed. And the older brother decided to build the house himself. The younger and middle brothers did nothing but play their games. It got colder and colder every day. The younger brother decided to build a house out of straw. The middle brother thought it would be very cold in the thatched house in winter. He decided to build a house from twigs and twigs. By the evening their housing was ready. They were very proud of themselves and could not get enough of their buildings. Now they were free and could do whatever they wanted. They decided to go to their older brother and see what kind of house he had built for himself. The older brother was busy building. He applied stones, kneaded clay and slowly built himself a reliable, durable home. The younger brothers found their older brother at work. They were very surprised at what kind of fortress he was building. The elder brother calmly continued to work. The younger and middle brothers began to joke and laugh at his house. They were so amused that their screeching echoed far across the lawn. The elder brother asked to be quiet, because the wolf could hear them. The younger and middle brothers were amused even more. They decided that the older brother was just a coward. And the two brave brothers went for a walk. On the way, they sang and danced, and when they entered the forest, they made such a noise that they woke up the wolf who was sleeping under the pine tree. The disgruntled and hungry wolf went to the place where the screeching of two stupid pigs came from. The brothers walked merrily and talked about how easily they would deal with the wolf. And suddenly they saw a real living wolf. He was standing behind a large tree. He had very evil eyes and a huge toothy mouth. The brothers were so frightened that their thin tails trembled finally, finally. The wolf prepared to jump he snapped his teeth and blinked his right eye. The pigs suddenly came to their senses and, screeching across the forest, rushed to run away. Raising clouds of dust, they rushed each to his own house. The younger brother ran to his thatched hut and slammed the door in front of the wolf. The wolf growled and demanded to open the door. The younger brother, out of fear, could not utter a word. Then the wolf began to blow. The light roof instantly flew off the thatched hut. The wolf took a deep breath and blew a second time, and the thatch house flew in all directions. The wolf was delighted, snapped his teeth, and pounced on his younger brother. But the pig deftly dodged and ran. He ran to the house of the middle brother. The brothers managed to lock themselves up and looked at each other in dismay. The wolf got angry and began to blow. The house is slightly askew. The wolf blew a second, then a third, then a fourth time. But the house was still standing. The wolf took a deep breath and blew for the fifth time. The house shook and fell apart. Only one door stood for some time in the middle of the ruins. In horror, the piglets rushed to the house of their elder brother. The wolf ran after them. He was sure that this time the pigs would not run away from him. The piglets quickly rushed past the large apple tree without even hitting it. And the wolf did not have time to turn and hit the apple tree, which covered him with apples. One hard apple hit him between the eyes. A big bump jumped on the wolf's forehead. At this time, the younger and middle brothers managed to run into the house of the older brother and bolt the door. The wolf ran to the door, growled and demanded to open the door. The younger brothers were very scared and could not say anything in return. And the elder brother knew that he and his brothers had nothing to fear in a solid stone house. Then the wolf sucked in more air and blew as soon as he could. But no matter how much it blew, not a single stone moved. 
And then he looked up and noticed a large, wide chimney on the roof. He carefully climbed onto the roof and began to go down the pipe. The pigs heard a rustle. The elder brother immediately guessed what was the matter. He quickly rushed to the cauldron in which water was boiling and tore off the lid. The wolf went down the pipe and fell straight into the cauldron. His eyes widened to his forehead. The scalded wolf flew out with a wild roar and rushed into the forest. And the three little pigs looked after him and were glad that they had so cleverly taught the evil robber a lesson. From that time on, the brothers and their mother began to live together under one roof. A princess lived in a luxurious castle. She was only 14 years old, but she was terribly spoiled and moody. Once she came up with something for April to come, and there were spring flowers at the New Year's banquet. She issued a decree in which she announced the beginning of spring and promised to generously reward the one who brings snowdrops to the palace. In a small house on the outskirts of the city lived a stepmother with her daughter and stepdaughter. The stepdaughter was a very sweet and kind girl, and her name was Masha. The stepmother and daughter were very lazy and angry, and they hurt the poor girl in every possible way. They really wanted to receive the reward promised by the princess, but they could not think of where to get the snowdrops in winter. The old woman decided to send Masha to the forest to bring them spring flowers. The stepdaughter began to beg her stepmother to take pity on her, because it was dark and cold outside. And what kind of snowdrops can there be in winter? But the greedy old woman did not want to hear anything. She gave a larger basket and drove Masha out the door. The frozen girl was very scared in a dark forest. Suddenly, in the distance, she saw a light. She was delighted and went to meet him. It turned out that it was a large blazing fire, and twelve people were warming themselves around it. Plucking up her courage, the girl approached them and told them that the evil stepmother made her go into the forest and collect snowdrops. It turned out that it was twelve months. The brothers felt sorry for Masha, and they decided to help her. Brother April chanted a spell, and suddenly spring came in the forest and in the clearing. The snow melted, green grass appeared, snowdrops blossomed. The girl began to collect flowers and soon filled a large basket with them. Young April liked her very much, and he gave her a magic ring. If trouble happens, he must be thrown to the ground, a spell cast, and all twelve months will come to the rescue. Oh, yeah. Masha thanked them and went home. When the girl brought the snowdrops home, the stepmother and daughter were very surprised at this. Masha was very tired from the journey and immediately fell asleep soundly. Her half-sister suspected something was wrong. While the girl was sleeping, she found her magic ring and took it to herself. After waking up, the stepdaughter discovered the loss. She began to beg to return the ring, but her stepmother and daughter did not want to hear anything. Taking a basket of snowdrops, they hurried to the royal palace. In the palace there was a magnificently decorated New Year tree. But the upcoming celebration did not please the capricious princess at all. And only when the stepmother and daughter brought her a whole basket of snowdrops, the princess changed her anger to mercy. The stepmother could not clearly answer where the flowers came from, and she had to admit that her stepdaughter had collected them. The princess immediately decided to go to the meadow with snowdrops. On the way, she looked to poor Masha, so that she would show her the place where she picked flowers. The girl said she would show it, but only if the ring was returned to her. From such insolence, the princess was angry and threw away the ring. But the stepdaughter managed to cast a spell. Immediately a strong wind rose, thunder rumbled, foliage fell, and snow began to fall. Old Man January appeared before them. He invited everyone to make one wish. Out of fear, the princess wished to be in the palace as soon as possible. Masha made a wish that everything would return to its place in due time, winter in winter, summer in summer. The stepmother and her daughter were so frozen that they wanted fur coats from any fur, even from a dog. Saying this, the greedy women immediately turned into dogs. They were harnessed to a sleigh on which the princess was to get to the palace. 
Masha thanked the brothers for their help. They promised to turn the stepmother and her daughter back into humans, but only when they become obedient. Munce gave the girl a wonderful big sled, harnessed by frisky horses. Seeing them, the princess asked for a ride to the palace. It was the first time in her life that the princess had uttered the word please. And Masha gladly agreed.